Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amps with me and Joe, episode 11. We're back. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, today, I, know I, was like that. I think we want to work um, on a little sorting system, Joe. Yes, oh, we um, did quite a bit in the last episode, considering the amount of time we did it in. Yeah. We got the batteries filled up with lots of juicy power, if you know what I'm saying here. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we got loads of stuff. Um, Applied Energistics, Joe. That's what we want to get today. Well, Max is the basics. Applied Energistics. Uh, this is a mod that basically makes absolutely crazy, awesome sorting systems, which um, are, are pretty much... Uh, they're so, like, di diverse that you can literally do anything you want with them. And combined with Buildcraft, um, they're, they're pretty, pretty intense and pretty pretty complex but same time really really good uh, and I think with the combination of um, you know our wireless power now and the fact that this is going to need a lot of power uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty good time to actually get our, uh, our ME system going um, so we only need quite a few things um, it is known to be a really really expensive mod and a lot of this episode is going to be crafting uh, so I'm going to speed a lot of that up uh, a lot of the crafting up me and Joe are going to be doing a lot of crafting I tell you that um, so speed ups as I said, uh, and yeah, I think that for now I'm going to tell you what we're going to make. Uh, what we're going to be making is first of all a crusher, Joe, so we only need a crusher. Alright, let's see this crusher. So I am going to make the crusher first of all. Uh, we're going to need two buckets of lava, which isn't too difficult because we've actually got a uh, massive lava pool outside in, in our mining world, so I'll get those. Control circuits, steel casing, resin. I'll make some steel casing and some circuit boards. Okay, if you, uh, I'll give you the lava mm, buckets. Mm, the bit, boom. So, maybe we want some sort of other type of crafting table. So, is there another type of crafting that we can use? There is a crafting monitor which we can get later, but for now, uh, what about um, advanced? Is there like an advanced thing? I know that there's actually a um, automatic. Uh, crafting table, but it doesn't quite work the same way anymore, so it's not quite as useful. Uh, basically, there's there's like the project table and different things. I also I also picked this steel up, Joe. I don't know if you need this. Oh, whatever. You can have it. It's a treat. So are you making the uh, steel casing? And I'm gonna make some circuit boards. Maybe I have a few left. Here's the lava buckets. I remember Joe. making too many. Joe, no. here's some lava buckets. Oh, that's great, thanks. You don't need those. Yep, of course I am. Okay, let's steel. make this crusher, and then we'll uh, be back to explain the next step towards getting an AE system. Right, so we've got a crusher now, and the crusher is going to be able to help us cr basically crush things, uh, as in the name. Uh, so basically, with the crusher, I think... I've got nowhere to put it here, really, so... Uh, I'll probably have to knock out a little bit of the wall and put it above... Uh, I'll, put, I'll tell you what, I'll put the crush up here and I'll get a bit of wire um, I think it's I think I use what type of wire do I use underneath the floor do I use standard copper wire yeah um, okay so Joe uh, we need to craft a few more other things uh, things we need to craft really are not too bad in terms of recipe but they are a little bit annoying to make we need to make a uh, couple of things let me just explain in a minute we're gonna need an ME controller is what we're gonna need so that's one thing we're gonna need a bit of stone as well actually to just cover up this a little bit here ooh what the hell are these flux crystals Cert is quartz I okay nether quartz I had a few of those in my inventory because I'm carrying around so much rubbish and some rubstone Set squads. I need to remember to put those batteries yeah, yeah, back in some set of squads. Do That's you think we'll be able to? Um, be in here. Do you think we're going to be able to get that system that we used with the batteries to actually work across like three ender chests? Do you think that will work? Don't know. Um, we'll have to test. We'll have to see. We'll have to find out. I have to find out. So this is the crusher. The um, right. So, the crusher is going to be able to crush down our quartz into um, into crushed quartz, into quartz dust. And that's going to be need to make, like, flux crystals and different things. And these, like, programmable thingamajiggies. So, 
uh, basic things that we're going to make now, we're going to craft, let me just ex show you what we're going to make. We're going to make the ME controller, which requires uh, a lot of things. Flux crystals are Lina quartz, Certus quartz, and redstone. And uh, the advanced processor... I've made the flux crystals. Alright, and the advanced processor is an advanced processor assembly smelted up, and that requ uh, requires a quartz cutting knife. You only need one of those, and it just sl gradually loses a little bit of... Um, it gradually, slowly but surely loses its durability when you craft with it. You're going to need two redstone, a diamond, which we now have a few more of between episodes, and some silicon, which is basically smelted up certus quartz dust, or nether quartz dust. Um, we're also going to make an ME drive, which is basic processor, which is exactly the same, but instead of it's gold instead of diamond. So, ME drive, ME controller, uh, uh, access terminal. That's going to need some ME cable, which is some flux dust and some glass. Uh, we're also going to need a conversion matrix, which is uh, all these different things. Uh, and we're finally, but short, uh, finally going to need uh, a storage cell, access terminal, uh, and and this uh, storage cell to make a crafting terminal. A storage cell is basic processor and some certus quartz and some redstone. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff we need to craft, um, and we will craft this up now. We're also going to need to make a 16k storage, or a couple of them. The recipe for that is uh, even more confusing. It's a storage block, uh, and a storage block needs three storage segments, an advanced processor and some glowstone. Storage segments need storage cells, which we saw earlier, which, and a basic processor. So whole loads of stuff we need to craft. So we'll be back in like uh, 10 days, or whatever how long it takes. Um, and uh, we'll be back to show you what these things do. We can set up our own little Emmy yeah. Emmy terminal, Emmy system. It's gonna be awesome. Let's see you guys in a bit. And we're back, guys. Uh, it's actually been an extremely long time since we last recorded. Um, we actually reco uh, record. We well, we had to kind of go off and do some other things, and it's been about a week, uh, and we haven't been able to play since. But uh, I'll just explain a few changes that have happened. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, I've got a minium stone in my hand, Joe. Oh, yeah, um, I can see that. Mm. And basically, that's from a current exchange. Uh, that means that I can start transmuting things with my minium stone. That's why all the dirt's gone. I've transmuted all the dirt into uh, diamonds and gold and things, and uh, so and also all of well, most of the cobblestone I've turned into like diamonds, and gold. Uh, so we've got 29 diamonds now, Joe. 29. Cool, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's pretty good. Uh, so I need to just go get my stuff from the quarry. Uh, I don't think quantum ore is spawning, Joe, which is a little bit of a problem, but we'll get around it. Uh, there's three more diamonds in there. There's a bit more cobble. I kept all my stuff in this chest though, so let's get all this on. My hazmat suit, and uh, I'll put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Okay, there's my inventory, and there we are. So, uh, the stuff we were crafting last time was the applied logistics things, and um, I've got them all in this chest over here. There's a whole. Oh, where's the water source? Where's the water source? Oh, uh, it's right in the corner. Right, right in the corner. Right there. Yeah. What happens if I block it up? Then all the water will go away, and that would be not be good. So I've got two 16k storage blocks. I also got uh, the ME controller. Joe also made the uh, uh, ME controller and the ME drive. I got the access yep. terminal. I got the crafting terminal. Got some ME cabling, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll get some universal cable as well. So yeah, we got all this stuff, and we can start doing some applied logistics. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, find a good place to put down our applied logistics things. I'm thinking this room here, Joe. Would you be happy with this room? No, no, no. Let me just link to that. Where uh, are you? I mean, this room right next oh, to yeah. the, all the machines. Yeah. So we could have this room, I guess. This wouldn't be bad. Could have the controller. Oh, God, there's a lot of rooms, it's like a maze now. We could have that there. We could have the ME drive to the side, I guess. The drive there, we could have the terminal here. And the uh, other thing, what's it called? The crafting terminal could go here. So there we go, we got everything right here. And then we just put our 
16k storage cells in here. Beautiful. Cool. There you go. So the thing we're going to need first is get some power running over. Uh, to do that, we're going to need to run some cables underground, and that's why I've got this smooth stone. Oh, these MEC, these ME terminals are so useful, aren't they? They're really good. They're bloody useful. I mean, when you're like as lazy as I am in Minecraft, you know, you need something like that instead of going through the thousands of chests that you have. Yeah. It's just like amazing. I know what you mean, Joe. I know what you yeah. mean. Especially when like building th um, building things like in the crafting table, just building like buildings, <laughs> building so, rooms. Oh shit! Or something. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, go back up, Joe. You need to get back up. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. Just trying to go through, and then I didn't realize this hole. Anyway, yeah. So they're really useful. These things. Yeah. For like building. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. So we have actually got a bad spot. <laughs> battery box back here, so I guess we could actually use that. Uh, oh my god, this farm energy cube's just raw. Right. Okay, so we'll use we'll use this then. So we'll go down underground and we'll go this way. Our chests are just bulging with uh with stuff by the way, Joe. Have you seen our chests recently? Yeah, I know, because from the all the like, quarries just you know, racking them up. Racking all those Lovely, juicy ores. Yeah, that's right. That'd be correct. Yes. Right, so we should have power, Joe. Uh, ah, here we go. Look, it's all, it's all on. Yay! Actually, wait there. I need to just uh, put a little torch behind there just to keep it light. So you can see we've got power to some stuff now. We're using eleven units per tick. I don't know what that is in uh, terms of of this type of power, but we could probably have a basic idea. It's really not that much at all. Wow. So yeah, uh, I basically put like a diamond lock on these ender chests. In the process I lost two batteries, but in instead I learned that you could actually use the actual energy cubes as the uh, as the type of battery that you just like throw around. So it just has a little bit more storage so you could like you know, oh, okay. yeah, use yeah. up I more power. It. So it's quite good. So yeah, all uh, me and Joe are going to be doing now, I'll speed it up, is just moving stuff from the chests in here over to the applied logistics stuff. Fun, and, uh, yeah. If we uh, need any more of these ME discs, I'm going to have to make them, obviously, because we might have uh, too many items, different items, but hopefully we can fit them all in. So yeah, we'll be uh, back once we've uh, moved all this stuff across. Nice. Right, so there we go, we moved everything across. Not too bad, really, in the end. Um, Joe happened to have some uh, some slime balls on him. Oh, he didn't, yeah. he didn't um, realise. But I, yeah. Okay. How did you not notice that? I don't know. It was because I was I was um, you know, uh, the ch moving items from the chest, and it like literally, by coincidence, ended up in my inventory. Those goo balls, slime balls, whatever you want to call it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I need to make some basic processes apparently, and that's going to be fun to make. Let's make. Let's make like eight of them. There we go. Eight basic processors. We go and cook them up now, Joe. Nice. Cookie, cookie <coughs> stuff. So yeah, applied logistics, Joe. Uh, I'll just talk about it. It's basically. Uh, do you remember ages ago when I played Technic? Oh uh, yeah. And there was a mod called Logistics Pipes. I remember I had all those pipes going everywhere. Oh yeah. And uh, Logistics Pipes was a really cool mod where you could literally just run your whole base off Logistics Pipes. It was really, really clever. Uh, good mod. Uh, but unfortunately for logistics pipes, it kind of disappeared into non-existence, and you never, we never really heard of uh, logistics pipes again. It has come back; it's been made by someone else. But applied logistics kind of took its place, took advantage of the fact it wasn't there anymore, and uh, makes really good sorting systems. And basically, Red Power filled that gap for a while, but now the, the applied logistics is back. So it's a really good mod for sorting systems. Now I was going to say, um, with the cows, um. We might need to maybe somehow get more cows because there's only two and they're not really exactly. Oh, you need to get some wheat and don't leave the door open either. Um, really a good point. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't open. Was if you go get some wheat, then uh, if you go get some wheat, then we can breed some. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to do that. Uh, right. So I've got the MU interface. Now I need to make some uh, precision uh, import and export buses. To get there, I need some basic export and import. And the recipe for those are not kind. Uh, so we're going to make four exports, I think. 
So jeez, I'm going to need a load of pistons. Uh, I think I'm going to need four sticky pistons. And four pistons, okay? Yeah, cool. I'm just doing the farm. We haven't done. I haven't done, seen the farm in ages. I don't think we've done anything with the farm in like <coughs> a couple episodes. More than that. Yeah, way more than that. We haven't done anything with the farm. Well, it is in important, ages. though, Tommy. It's pretty important. Oh, and I just accidentally made way too many sticky pistons, but never mind. Wow. <coughs> can't get enough sticky pistons, right? No. That's right, Joe. I I can't. I can't actually get enough. But either way, there we go. Fine. We got four of each now, and now. We need to make some stuff. So first of all, some basic imports. There we go. Four of those. And some basic exports. There we are. So we've got four of each, which is good. How many uh, ME cable have we got left? We've got none. So we need to make some more fluix dust. Do we have any more of that? We do a little bit. We're going to need more, though. So I need to go and mash up some quartz. Uh, so I need to get some quartz first of all. Where's quartz? There it is. Don't have much left, uh, which is a bit of a shame. What are you doing right now, Joe? I am breeding. Just doing stuff. I'm breeding cows, and I've mm, bred a cow. And Just... it is a babby cow. Oh yeah. And shall I kill the parent? Oh no, no, don't do kill the parents. Be careful, cows are a lot more intelligent at leaving, so uh, so be careful there. Right, so now we've got this, I need to make some more of those uh, thingies. Some more basic processors, so I'm going to need that. So I'm going to need even more basic processors, which is going to be really, really fun. <laughs> it's fine, I got it. I'm back. I'm back. You're back. Yeah. Uh, so we got we got three cows now. Yeah, we got three cows. I was I, I was thinking of maybe extending the cow farm. I know that's like they're just cows, but it would be really helpful when we've got a lot of meat because it does fill up quite a few food bars. Right. Instead of relying on like the farm, I might just extend out this now. Okay, that'd be a good idea though. Yeah, that'd be that's good. what I'm doing. Oh, we don't have enough glass. We've run out of glass. Do we have any sand. Do we even have any sand? Do we have any dirt? Uh, dirt? Do we? Do we have any cobblestone? <laughs> if we have any cobble, okay, fine. We got some cobblestone. That's fine. So now we can show you the medium stone. Now the medium stone is from a current exchange. Basically, it can transmute things. So there we go. Just turn some into sand. Got some oh, sand. there's a massive hole. Should I cover that up? Like Wait. there's a massive hole into the cow farm. For some reason. Oh, from where? It's from there's there's a torch, right? And this massive hole, that's probably where you digged in to, so we could make the mine into the house. Okay, well, cover that up then, it's fine. Yeah, I'll go up there and cover that. Just put... Okay, never mind, doesn't matter. Um, fine. I think I digged up there because I was going to fill it in with dirt, but in the end I didn't, actually. I think that's well, what it was. Uh, right, either way. Okay, I've got those basic processes. I just need to get this little bit of sand uh, or, or, or glass, which is almost done. These basic factories are so good now, we can speed them up to absolute max speed, like 8 times speed, because we've got the epic amounts of, of stuff, uh, which is really cool. Okay, I've got 21 more of these uh, ME cables. So now I've got these basic processes, I just have to mix them together. Mi I say mix, I mean kind of extend them. And there we go, we've got some precision in uh, export and some precision import, Joe. Oh yeah. It's very Central. exciting, isn't it? I think we're probably ahead of... Weber and Maxo boy. Yeah, I definitely. Think, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Weber. Now, <laughs> what we do now is we're gonna take these and we're gonna automate them. Okay. Because. Come it's here. Time cows to do some too intelligent. Come on. So basically, uh, Joe, we're gonna start doing some automation with uh, applied logistics. When's dirt when you need it? I mean, uh, it's yeah. medium stone. It needs to be medium stone. There might be a few medium shards, Joe. Uh, I'll move those sides later as well. Yeah, I got bloody hell. Whoa! Okay, right. So, this is the enriching. So, where should we put the enriching, uh, thing? We'll put the, uh, where should we put the automated things? We'll put the automated things, uh, we could put them anywhere, really. We could just put them here, I guess. But I don't know if that'd be a good idea. Now, I know you have to pull out of the bottom, so we may have to think about that. 
So maybe we just want to kind of put them over here, just like behind this wall. Uh, dig, extend, maybe. Extend this wall outwards. I don't think anyone can find our base. That's the whole point. Well, if you explode stuff like that... What? I the creeper wasn't even looking at me. Bloody hell. Was it a creeper? Right. It's a creeper. What the, f what the hell's going on? Literally, I just walked outside and a creeper was in a hole with a skeleton and a zombie. Right? Yeah. That's all that happened. Oh. And it just blew up. Maybe it didn't like them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. I think that'd be a little bit harsh of the creeper, to be honest. But would you not agree? And the party, like, they're probably having a big party. Do you think? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, yeah. Maybe it's party time for the creepers. But yeah, I bet you Web and Max, like they do, have made it all flashy, their home. They've made it stand out, because all they care about is making it look good, to boast about that they're better builders than us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then they've just blown it. But us, we've kept kept it secret. We've done your old... Die off 9x9. Nine 9x9. Nine, nine nine, yeah. Which looks disgusting and just horrible, but, but it's they're good. efficient. It's yeah. efficient. Very efficient, now, they are. Actually, I need to get more dirt and cover this. Put this up. Okay. Right, I'm back here now, Joe. We've got everything going. So, this is the enriching place, so we'll put enriching... Uh, we'll put enriching... Uh, where should we put it? Let's bring some cable across so we just know where the hell we're going to do stuff. Uh, let's go... Up here. So let's put enriching... Uh, here. And... Or maybe we want to do it in the wall. Yeah, that would probably look a better one. So we'll dig all of this up here. And then we'll go up the wall. And then we'll... There we are. Okay, right, that's better. And then we'll just go along the ground. Up there, 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 there. Okay. And enriching can go there. Oh no, not, not, uh, that's smelting. Uh, oh wow, how did that land up there? Enriching is this one. Enriching will land there, and that will go there. Okay, that's fine with me. Add a bit of stone to finish the job. Okay, there we are. So now what we need to do is get our Emmy stuff across. <coughs> so all we need to do for that is basically a kind of big loop-de-loop -loop sort of thing where we get the Emmy cabling. So first of all we need to get the precision import. So that's how you put it into the network rather than into the machine. So we need to go like this, like that. And then we need hey, some another baby cow. exports. Mm. Oh wow! Oh yeah, that's I, awesome. Um, Joe the cow breeder. Yes. That's now right. can I kill one of them now? Is that your, is look, that... I've got so many. Look. Uh, don't kill them because we don't want to kill them. Why not? We just don't want to. You don't want to kill them. No. Well, we need the beef. Right? Yeah, no, but well, we need a whole load yeah. of them first. Ooh, I'm gonna keep digging away at this wall. <clears throat> Make this pretty big. Probably so want to end up with loads of cows and shit. Because the sheep got they sh the sheep got their their share. I mean, their room's pretty big. You made it pretty big. Yeah, but the sheep the sheep are very important. Cows are just better. They give meat. Yeah, but sheep give wool. Yes, I know. Which but... is not so important anymore because we're using different types of cable. Yes, but at the yeah. same time, it's still very useful to have. Okay, so we've got our machines back here, and these are going to be awesome for doing stuff. And, uh, so yeah. So now what we need to do is get a whole bunch of different types of ore, and start putting them into these export stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to say move stacks of items, because just to, just to speed up, basically. So there we go. Move stacks of items. And now, what we need to do is find all the different types of ore that we can mine from the ground, and put them into those machines. So... The different types of ore, I would say, are, if we uh, go ore, are, I would say, gold, iron, osmium, tin and copper. Gold, iron, osmium, tin, copper. And I'd say that's it. This watermelon farm needs to be so, watermeloned. Gold, don't know what that means. iron, osmium, tin, and copper. There we go. We'd be done. So now that we're done, 
we can just go back over here. Oh, you fool watermelon. I just say. Go in there. Uh, now, this is the. Uh, we need the enricher. So, here we just say put in all the ores, put them all into this machine. There we are. And now, what we do is we just process them. And we get all the different types of dust. Once we've got all the different types of dust, we can then put those back into the machine to say what to, to put into the, into the smelter. So, we put that back down there, and then we say in the smelter, you put all the different types of dust. So, like this. So now, if we put all the different dusts... Oh, look. Did you just put some... Pardon? Oh, that was a bit weird. Okay, either way, right, so, we just put all these different dusts in, and we should see all of the dust coming into this machine. There we are. You can see the gold's now coming across to get uh, processed. That's really good. So, we've got some automated stuff going on here. Move stacks, move stacks, move stacks, move stacks. Okay, well, Joe, there we go. We've got complete automation. My god, this Back is awesome. Let me have a look. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been busy with the farming. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Oh my lord, this is cool. Nice with the basic factories going on. So look, we've got at the top oh, yeah. here is the exports, which put in the different like dusts and ores. Yeah. And then at the bottom, it just takes it out and then pass it on. Cool. Nice. Oh, look at these. This is cool. Pretty cool types of pipes, aren't they? And this is all connected to the um... system, yeah. yeah. And all powered by our epic Ender chest awesomeness. So, and then everything from the quarry then goes all the way to here, sorts it out. Puts in the ME MC terminal. ME terminal, sorry. There we are. We've got everything going, Joe. Oh, yeah. That's good, actually. So if you type in ingots, you can see that we've got nearly 5,000 tin, 4,500 copper, 2,500 iron, 1,000 osmium, 200 bronze, 150 gold, and 73. 4,845 tin ingots. Now, one thing that I, I can see on your screen is you probably want to click that top A to Z thing. Yeah. In the top left to sort it by number because it's a lot easier to see then. Wow, that is amazing. Well, you know, so oh god, wow. Should we sit say the copper coming across? There we are. That's a lot of stuff. And hopefully this copper gets taken out. Uh, taken out. There we go. It's all working. It's amazing. It's actually working. Twenty nine diamonds, not bad. Yeah, we got twenty nine diamonds just from cobblestone, basically. Wow. Um. <laughs> but, yeah. So yeah, there we go. I'm still uh, waiting for my con condenser, Toffee. <laughs> yeah, EJ really wants a condenser. Oh, I don't know condenser. what condenser. It's my, it's my. F You've been waiting five versions. Oh well, right I'm now three. Waiting for a condenser. Been five. Right at this point, oh, it's been yeah. about four versions. It is four, basically five versions. cheating, though, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I got to admit. Well, if you have a look at, if you just type in, uh, if you go into item subsets mm -hmm. in your inventory, yeah, then hover over mod. Uh, press O first of all to get uh, up your thing. Then go over, hover over mod. Yeah, yeah. And then there should be a bit called equipment exchange three. So right click on that, or left click on that. Yeah. Oh, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. I go back. That's fine. Left click yeah. on it. Left click on it again. Just yeah. left click on it, or shift shift left click on it. There we go. There we go. So you can see there's actually some new stuff there. Okay. Wow. Ash. You, you can actually make some of the stuff. You can make the aludel. And you can make the glass bell. Calcinator. Apparently link pal is related in some way, but I don't know if Chemical it is. Chest, there's also an alchemy bag. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, at the bottom, right, right at the bottom. But aludel. Should we make one just to see what it looks like? I make a what? Seven iron. So that's, let's what just do you see. want to make? Aludel. It's the second thing. Oh, oh my god. What's that do? Okay, let's make it. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I don't think I've heard it in real life. Well, it's a new thing, so... I wouldn't expect you to. Never heard it in real life, either. Okay, right. Let's put it down. It looks pretty nice. Let's put it in the middle of the room. Oh, look at that. It actually looks really nice. Can we put stuff on it? Do you know what it is, like, in real life, oh, Tommy? Right, you're... Oh, right. You're doing stuff on it, look. You have to, like, cook things in it. I don't know what oh. the recipes are. In actually, real life, what the hell is it used for? Do you know, Tommy? I don't think there's any recipes for it yet, so I don't think you can actually use it properly. 
but it's pretty cool still. Do you know what it's? Have you ever come across it? Uh, I think it's an alchemy thing, so I don't think it would in real exist. life. I don't think it would exist in real life. No. no. If it does, that'd be pretty cool. It, it looks is something that like in witchcraft or something. It does look pretty cool though. I think we'll just keep it there because yeah. this room's a little bit empty it's right now. For decoration, really. Yeah. <laughs> you probably make a column of them. It would look pretty nice. No, that looks fine at the moment. Okay. Could, it would be nice if you put like an ornament on it. It looks like kind of a tape, like a... Yeah, I was thinking you probably put something on top of it, but you can't, which is unfortunate. It's more of a, if you right click on it, you'll see there's like some crafting, like some infusion yeah. maybe. You like infuse things together, get these. Dust. That is probably yeah, that's what it's used for, most likely. There's loads like, of different. Should we infuse? Dust let's see, gravel and cobblestone. I don't think it actually does anything <laughs> right now. Okay, whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for watching uh, oh my this. God, yeah, I forgot. We've uh, we've done this awesome applied logistics. We have got all our items in this the big 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 system now. Yeah. All of our ores when they come in are going to get processed. Nice. In here, <laughs> and I think the next step, Joe, is to make uh, all of our stuff from the quarry come directly into the ME terminal. Nice. Okay. And also, I was thinking maybe, Tommy, maybe, maybe, maybe we could do something with, you know, farming, some advanced farming. Yes, we could do some advanced farming. That would be extremely helpful, because, you know, I love farming in this game. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, we could get some farming going. Uh, now, we have we actually got... To, we, we our got, farms are, like, awful. <laughs> there are some good farming uh, mods. Yeah. Uh, first of all, there's, if you type in the at symbol, and then just type in mine factory... At Symbol Mine Factory, yep. you will get up a load of stuff about Mine Factory. It's all it's a very farming based mod, and uh, there's a ton of stuff you can do. Like you can automate Ooh. wheat uh, farms and carrot farms and potato farms, and also cow farms and stuff like that. There's like a slaughterhouse block and stuff like that. Oh gosh! So there's loads, and you can a make meat packer. you can make liquid you can make liquid meat, and also the, compress the liquid meat the into raw meat ingots, and then cook them into meat ingots. <laughs> oh, that's like something like that. Like if you type in if you type in meeting guts, then you'll see it. Meeting guts, that's disgusting. That's like <coughs> stuff you get at like school, like Pressfeld. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite interesting. Meat. Oh, bucket of meat bucket. That's disgusting. <laughs> Cooked meat. No, that's not mine. Well, there we go. That's a something. Nugget, a meat nugget. Is yeah, that like a chicken nugget. I don't know. It's probably like a, a mixture. A block of meat. That's just uh, look at just look at like the the, the raw. Just go, look at the raw. Why am I even standing on that? Look at the raw the raw meat ingot. It's like some liquid dripping from it. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's like all the fat. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Looks like a pink fried egg in the raw meat nugget. That's awful. Well, there we go, guys. Okay. That oh, is that's... something to uh, do in a few episodes' time. Maybe, maybe next episode. If yeah. we, if we, if I quickly uh, get the ender chest down, we can move straight onto the mine factory stuff. Make a farm because we've got so much power. We can just make a big power line. I'll do that between episodes. I'll me and Joe will make a big power line up to the far where the farms will be, and uh, then we can do some farming stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. Nice. That's awesome. That's so, thank you all for watching this episode. And we'll see you next time in yes. Amps. Amps, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>